Well, thank you for joining us on the news at 430. I'm Jessica Savage. Vidalia's airport has a new runway. The multi-million dollar project was paid for with the help of the federal government. Our Shay Schrader has the details. The Vidalia Regional Airport received $2.2 million through the American Rescue Plan last year to update their runway, and now that project is complete over a month ahead of schedule. The airport originally applied for the funds because of the increased traffic they've been seeing from jets like Gulf Streams. Airport manager Billy Reagan says there were several concrete panels with cracks that needed replacing, which was the most expensive part of the project because of the high price of concrete. He says they're grateful the project is complete ahead of schedule so they can welcome jet traffic back. We can continue to support the large aircraft. The bigger they get, we can support them. They can rest assured that when they land here, there won't be any issues. We have a large customer client base that we service. Not only do we want to be uh, on the up and up to support their needs, but we want to be attractive for future growth and development and be a place that folks know that they can grow their businesses here and uh, have access to a regional airport that can support their needs. Roper tells me the completed runway project is far from the last update the airport is going to see. The airport will receive $7 million in federal and local funding over the next several years to update its layout plan and to install up to 12 new hangars. Reporting in Vidalia, Shea Schrader, WTOC News. Well, today, Savannah Chatham County Public School students went back to school for the first day of the new school year. But for some students, it's their last first day. Camille Syed looks at the welcome back celebration that happened at Islands High School this morning. Before the bell rang.